When features of spreadsheet meet the functionality of databases, great things happen. If you have used Airtable, then I'm sure that you are going to appreciate this NoCoDB open source tool, which I'm going to install in this video. But to top it off, I'm going to integrate it with local Olama based models. If you want to use AI in NoCoDB, normally you would have to go with their enterprise edition. You would have to pay the fee. But for this video, I'm going to show you how you can get it installed locally with Olama based models, all local, all private. And then you can use the database features just like the way you would use a spreadsheet. This is Fahad Pirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. So let's get started with the installation. I am going to use this Ubuntu system and I have one GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. I already have Olama installed. If you don't know what Olama is, just go to my channel and search with it. I have done literally thousands of videos on Olama. So I already have Olama installed and with Olama I have this GPTOSS open source model from OpenAI and you can use any model of your choice of course but my model is already there. If you haven't downloaded it just do Olama pull and then the tag of the model which is GPT-OSS colon 20 billion and model will be present on your local system. Second step let's install NoCodeDB. I'm just going to create a local directory and I'm mapping the volume of this Docker container, which is downloading the NoCodeDB image and that is going to run it locally on port 8080. And while it downloads, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGent. iGent is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application that empowers you to build, manage and deploy a custom AI workforce and you will find the link in video's description. Also, if you're looking to rent a GPU or VM or CPU on very good prices, you will find the link to Mast Compute with a 50% discount coupon in video's description. Let's go back and you can see that our NoCoDB is not only downloaded, but it is also installed with SQLite database at the backend, but you can even install it with Postgres. You don't have to worry about these underlying databases. It just uses this behind the scene. So installation of NoCoDB is done. In order to access it, all you need to do is to just go to your local system and access it on port 8080 let me actually take you there and quickly show you so just access the dashboard it is going to don't worry about this this is my previous message just click on sign up and then just give it your email address it will be stored locally you're not signing up remote so i'm just going to give my email and password and sign up just use any email password so I'm just going to sign up with this. Not now, I'm going to skip this intro. And there you go, this is the NoCodeDB, which is the NoCode database. And if you um, really look at it, what it does is, it is an open source self-hosted A type style app that turns your existing SQL databases into a spreadsheet user interface. And you can have multiple views like Grid, Kanban, Gallery, but this Kanban Gallery features are available in the enterprise or paid options. I'm not going to go there. I'm just going to go and create a base, which primarily is a placeholder for all of your objects on the light, uh, right hand side. This is a base list. I'll just call it create base and then just simply uh, it has created the base. Then let's create a new table. I'm just going to call it prompts. Let's create table here. It is created. Now these are the columns or fields in the table in the prompts one. I'm just going to rename this title field as prompt. I will just call it long text data type, update the field, then click on plus sign. And then maybe I'll call it response. Again, long text save field and now we have a prompt we have a response and for the prompt i maybe i'll just call it uh, what is the capital of australia press enter 
and what i want to do i want to take that prompt i want to pass it to the olama based model and then i will update it programmatically through their javascript sdk which i will also show you and i also will show you the code which i am going to use if you want that code just become a member on the channel i'm happy to send you the code uh, it is very cheap like four to five dollars per month but that really really supports the channel i'll be very grateful if you become a member to the channel okay so going back to the no code db or no code db this is what we are intend to do our no code db is installed our base is installed we have created a table into that base we have created a two fields and we have populated prompt field with this prompt we want now olama base model to fill that prompt okay so that is good i have already cleared the screen next step i just want to maybe create um you know or maybe i'll just show you i'm just going to go into this olama worker directory where i already have this node.js package and script all i have done here is i have created this script what this script is doing it is using this local host now it is using this api token this is what you would need and how do you get it let me show you on your local NoCodeDB interface you see on the left hand side at the bottom left you have this FA this is your account setting click on account setting go to tokens add new token and then maybe as I'm just calling it this NC API token I'll just grab this I will go back and then I'll call it NC API token save grab your token from here and then just paste it here of course you can do it programmatically if you like there is a javascript sdk that is done also i would need base id you can get it through sdk but for the purpose of demo i'm just going to show you how you can do it so i'm clicking on uh, the back button go to base this is my base click on this uh, three dots or as they now these days called this kebab icon grab this base id and then just populate this base id this is all is going to use in the code now my table name is already there which is prompts let's get the tables id the table id again you would go click on base this is my table click on kebab icon grab this table id and then populate it here save it and then this is my prompt field this is my response field this is my olama url and this is my olama model so I already I will be accessing it through my um, code. This is the code is worker.js. It is already npm package. Let's go back to my terminal and from there let's uh, clear the screen. And now let me run this. I'm going to run this script here. Let's wait for it. And it says that one record has been updated. So nothing has failed let's go back and then let's click on this maybe I'll just first click on overview and then we are going to click on this prompts and you can see that now the response includes this prompt and it says the capital of Australia is Canberra and it has auto populated it with the help of Olama if you also want to check it through curl you can just pass it the token in the header and then oh sorry because this is a token which i am using the previous one so let me grab the new token i'll just copy it from here and then i will give it a new command and there you go so after replacing the token and the table id now it has given me the response so i have just sort of listed or read from the database and you can do all the CRUD operations by using this SDK and the code the documentation of API is on their website which you can check out so that's it I hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think about Olama integration with no code DP on your local system if you like the content please like the video and subscribe and do me a favor and become a member as that helps a lot thank you for all the support